to be a little bit of that information gathering. And Broland, you've got to wonder for him, how far is he going to overextend? Because Sparrow is waiting for that overextension to come out for the T-Cob position. But Broland still wins that fight to get themselves a five on three. Coming through from Fnatic, so many players out from the B side, and it's all just trying to see if they can bait out. Jakino just pulling distractions over. Is anyone going to clear out this position from JW? They will. Hades getting a couple of kills. Jakino went back with a trade, and the bomb plant's coming in. Jade Kassim gets the kill, two versus two to return. Now Brolin and Crims coming in from different sides of the retake here. One from Connector, one from Oil. Brolin on top of the Connector train sees where Jed is at over at Summit, calling out the information, seeing the second man as well. So Crims can just slow face, get the kill together, and it's all left to Hades. P250 in, not a raid boss, no Kevlar on him. Faces up, sees Brolin, taps through, takes damage again. We're going to try to see if he can retreat back towards the bomb itself. Face out, going to be pressured heavily, and eventually too much to go for him. Bomb defused, will come through. Fnatic will gain the pistol. Uh, they did actually sort of lose quite a lot, I think, in that situation. When you've got a 5 on 3 and you've got a triple stack up and out from Golden, Resmoke going down towards that ramp position. Hey, G, ooh, didn't quite go up towards the top and Hades actually gets that first frag out from Ivy. Decent start coming through from the T side as they look to split their that bomb away from Brad Halls. This is so damn slow. It's going to be a fake out towards the B side and they're going to dive down from pop. Golden could be the one to at least get that information. Opening kill comes out towards the A side and now it comes back to the rotators. Good frag comes out from Crimson and the time's incredibly low, but it's still enough time to get that bomb plant down. Seeing where Sparrow is back at the brown halls, uh, sorry, towards the pop dog entrance to the brown halls. Scout out, good VCs, Crims. Takes that frag, not ready for Chikino at stop up. Golden left alone, one versus three. Tap first through, desperate to catch a kill over to hell. And Ponchek is not going to let him go with that. Three kills, two kills to his name, I should say. And a round back for the of Sparrow. Flashes forward as two players make their way up. They're going to hear those footsteps. JW, oh, they tap forward. He gets one Deagle kill as a result of this, but the trades are good for the CT side. Only one frag found by Hades. Drop in from Ponchek. We'll get Brawlin and switching out to the AK to deal with the old bomb player. But time, bombs no bomb. to Ivy, so there's no time for this. Vistler have got to save their weapons. Uh, that's that's one of those rounds where it's just the, nothing's being checked properly, right? We see that swing looking out towards the, the hell corner, and it seems like for Goofy, he's got the info, okay, it's clear, and then you kind of realize, oh no, Jake Smoke's going in over the top, one from Con2, and now the Xy's in. Flashes, Smoke's in, Spero gets a swing on Golden, gets that start, five on four, Vista. We'll see Fnatic to back off. They don't still got a kill on the SMG, but the rifles still need to maintain their presence. Jakino does come up with a kill. Goofy didn't make any noise, missed his first shot, connected his second. Jakino falls, looks back on Brolin, trades it to a three versus three. Has another T side player up here at Oil to get a quick face in, gets Brolin to fall. Crimson trades back with the SMG once again to even standing. Back and forth trades that finally work up to the favor of Fnatic, but they've wasted all this time. Got to get these kits to the site. Crimson is extremely low HP as well. Nades on, Ponche just waiting for the bomb to get tapped, get into that face together, sees his man, spray through, sees the man in the back, got to get JW to fall now, and it's not going to happen, Crims secures his kill for it, and Fnatic playing a perfect bait and switch. Now, Wisdom might force again here, I'm kind of looking at that position, thinking three kills and a bomb plan, it depends on how eager they are to try and bounce, Ivy's being taken. Very aggressive from Golden in particular. Smokes down, Crims finds Jedka nade up. Damage done to Goofy on the other side of the site. Very different position. One at Old Hell, one at New Heaven. Burst up, Hades catches Brolin. That's going to be a four versus four. Heavy damage done to several CT players, but same can be said for the T side as well. And Golden is not one of those guys. Still, the Orc catches the shot, gets the kill when necessary. The bomb plant can be secured. Jakino spotted here by the Galil. Goofy gets it to two. And Vistler, despite the time pressure being against... Fnatic, low HP down to Crims and JW. Away back into the poles when it comes to the rifle round. But money's not going to be too much of a defining factor. Fnatic have got no uh, no real... The entrance, Jakino with the AWP, the standard bait and switch set up. A counter smoke will come through from the T side. Standard eyes to try and block it off. Swing comes through from the Fama and Ponchek immediately shuts it down. They should be able to realise where Jakino is from here and they'll get a bomb plant in easy for it. Uh, they've even got a late lurk out from Ivy from the T side and they've got entries in towards the side. This is just looking like a breeze to come out from Vizsla. And the saving players, they're not going to have to deal with Goofy. They shouldn't be able to hold on to anything. Brolin now gets caught off and Jakino's stuck in CT. They know that he's here with the AWP. This is going to be Hunt Galore out for the T side. Good shot does come through from the CT Orpa, but how does he try and escape out from Sparrow? Just getting over, but there's already a player back out towards the A side. And there are just players everywhere here for Vizsla. They want no chance of this AWP being saved in. And timing's just going to be everything in this position. Spurrier is able to swing out wide. And for Fnatic, now they've been really reset with the money. They can't afford to in Popdog or in the Brown Halls itself. 
And Vizsla looking to try and take that pop patrol, and they've already lost Spiro. There's a chance that one of the CTs can get aggro and take on, pick up that rifle of the AK. It's a good start for Brolin, at least. Ponchek can't quite find the second CT back there over at the uh, back lines of the B site. They're going to counter rotate by losing that first player. Orp shots and the pistols are fragging. Four versus two for the CT side. Bomb dropped out of ramp. We'll get picked up by Goofy. Try to get the bomb plant from here, but they've got a real good chance of this. Goofy's going to have to find some trades. Yeah, they're looking to try and take some fights. It's actually working quite well out for Ponchek, but only finding one. And now back to the one versus one. Goofy with two kills in the round. Did he get the information on where JW's coming in ramp with the AWP? Watching for the rotations. They swing out. He gets that one-on-one -on -one trade. But in that four versus two, they just work off one another. This positive sign for Fnatic going forward, obviously. He mentioned this will be the map that Vista could potentially win. Brolin gets things kicked off with a, with a small gap there where the T's can be pretty much uncontested by the CT forces. Chikino will check it, eventually catch off Ponchek, that's two standing. An AK burst through on Chikino. Goofy's been able to slow walk in from T-Con, but gets scenes by the AWP between JW and Chikino. These guys have been doing great with the orb, and Jenka can't even fight a frag. Not even a single point of damage gets done to the CT side. Well, that's a statement for Fnatic to make. Oh, Brolin. They've just come out of Tcon. They're not expecting a backstab to come in this quickly. And they don't even know that Brolin's out towards a heaven position. He could be out of light up too. Ooh. JW finds the connection back with Spiro. There is a player coming in from Con for the T side to cut rotations off, but they're down by so many players now. Yeah, three for one trade, favor Fnatic. Yes, Brolin is extremely low on HP, but CTs have Dominion over the site. They've got a spoke off that uh, popped off position. Jadka will end up taking Jakina, but now they're on the bomb sticking the whole thing. Nothing that the T side players can do to try and deny it here. Just holding it down. Fnatic, just with their presence alone, are able to overwhelm Vistla and you know, peak CS. And this is their best map in the map pool. One of the best trained teams in all of tier two. And they're just being outclassed. That is all that is happening so far. Some yeah. Fnatic might not be doing great in their top tier tournaments, but here <laughs> they just look absolutely flawless. Jakino using the York more like a shotgun. AK is coming up the track of the trades, and Jedkin will keep it at a three versus two advantage. They're in a great position. The only thing they don't have going for them is really the info or the utility, and Ponchek gets caught off trying to jingle peek out from the pop dog position. More damage coming through onto Hades now, and it comes down to the one versus two. Brolin, the youngster for this team, playing out from the camera position. Vista swinging out quite wide. Slow move comes in from the A box position, but Jenka hits the shot and gets another round forward. A much needed one for the T side. Yeah, probably needs to change positions there. You can see that swing was so ready. They were so prepared. Counteract against Fnatic. And Spiro waiting for a little bit of over aggression out towards his T cold position. Crims on the other side. Oh, the timing's perfect. He got caught with a nade out. Good start. Brolin's not going to look to make that mistake. In a K does get traded, so four on four. It looks like it's going to be a bit of a rotation back out towards a B site, but it's running the clock again relatively low. One player out towards B, and Jed has even found a kill through the smoke in pop. That's going to hold the A players, and even maybe think about Golden having a bit of a rotation. I'll see. T side players are going to rotate back to the um, uh, A site execution angle. 15 seconds. Chikino has his orb blocked alongside the M4. You get those two kills. Bomb still out there to get picked up on a T side line. It's got to get recovered and get to the side right now. Chikino can still shut this down. So can JW. JW ends up with the frag. Chikino going to wait. Catch Goofy. Look for Ponchek. Oh. And that's a fantastic sequence. A fantastic round again for Fnatic. None have come through. Ponchek, Hades up towards Brown Hall. The two teammates behind them. Playing out the defaults as the IV control comes in. And Shvero does actually isolate the opening kill. It'll take one of the Orpers out. And one of the first times I've actually seen like a BXE with a late lurk out from Ivy in a while now. But look at this read from Fnatic. They've rotated two more players over towards the B side to have a triple stack incoming. They know exactly what's happening. Great trades. The bomb being dropped by Crims. Even with the opening man advantage being found from Spiro, the BXE is just a cause for concern, I think, for the Polish squad. 
It is. It really, really is. I think that we've even seen some of the stars from Viz have been very, very quiet, right? But Hades is, is one of those, like, up-and-coming orpers in the Polish scene, you know. People kind of talk a little bit about Marcos that's playing on Illumina. MHL probably talking about a little bit in last year, but the majority of Pol but Here come the smokes. Here come the flashes. And the Molly also at the ready. Secondary smoke down the other side of the site. Ponchek desperate to tap up some heads. Gets Chikino. That's a good start. And now forced back to the bat lines past the summit spot. Golden gets his kill. Hades responds. Goofy tapping desperately. Alongside Hades on the other side of the site, does manage to drop Golden, but it'll be a 4v2 retake that favors Vista Krakow. For JW and Crims, where do they play from this? Apparently, Crims doesn't play at all. All on JW. Bomb getting tapped, forced up through the ramp control. The defuse can just get stuck by Hades. Nice if it could be the five second defuse from Sparrow, but in the end, it doesn't matter. Kills coming in nice and easy. And that'll be Vista in with an all important pistol. And that was a really good hold from Ponchek to start off. We used to fight onto them pretty much straight away. Crim's on the other side. He's just trying to put this util down. Hades finds that first pet. Ponchek helps him out. And for Fnatic, they can't even just get out of this ramp position. Finally, the trade comes back, but they've got to get the bomb plan in. Just about crosses, dink down on Goofy. The plant will be secured here. Four versus three for the retake. Hades gets it to two. Prolin falls to one. So Golden left alone with a golden gun. A deagle. Desperate to tap on Sparrow. Misses his first shot. Not going to get a chance at the second. And that'll be another defuse for Vista. Fnatic. Not doing as well here for the T side. And I, I, I was hoping this would start to be the case here. Although if they start letting this comeback get away from them, then Vista definitely would be... Um, uh, He's down with you. Ponchek has already been seen out from mid bomb and a chance for the T plays to start swinging everywhere. Hades now caught out to the open. He can't even get back to oil. And the Deagle's now aggressing out towards Connector. Golden doing damage. He finds one. This round is so winnable because they've got another backstab out from A. Getting rid of the players on the site itself, though. They've only got one man in Crims. JW has got to get this flank together. He finds a Fama. Picking it up, seeing one player in the back, burst through, does not catch Burrow for the kill, does his damage at the very least. Goofy now swinging past, JW being careful, Crim's going to try and use the bait and switch, they both combine to find that kill. And now Sparrow's left alone here in a one on two, half bought pistols, working well for Fnatic as they claim their first of the half. Tag them a little bit further here. Yeah, that's decent. That's decent damage coming out for the CTs, but even just the slow walk trying to get out towards that E-Box line. Brolin's just holding the cross with the AUG, and all this distraction being pulled away is allowing the walkout from Ivy. Brolin gets a second one in the round. Yeah, five on three situation. Oh, JW. Yeah, he knows. He's walked out. Golden does manage to go down. JW. Bissler unable to turn it on today. And, uh, well, this might be a disappointing exit for them if they're not careful. Their first map looks to go the way of the, op of the opposition. Fnatic side. Even trying to see if they can go hunting. I don't think they'll be able to get away with any more kills. Unless there's a bit of a wall bang coming out. Crims is just a little bit... Actually losing that first man advantage and even taking a lot of damage onto Crims too. The CT ghosts on the server now. I'm trying to see if we can aim the right way, but... Hades is aiming the right way. Three kills found for him on the AWP. Vistler. Two minutes to find this round here. Fnatic. What happened? Falling asleep, perhaps? Crimson and Drakino are wondering exactly what went wrong, but have to sort of take the uh, loss on the chin. They do find one kill. That's a good trade back on Hades, so the all party is taken out of play. If they can work between one another, like, this is this is still doable here for the T side. Oh, I think Jackino got close towards that A-Box player. Look at a peep back in. Why is Goofy trying to take that duel? Now there's just three CT side of players left, and Jedka's low. But so are Crimson Giacchino, so definitely better HP advantage right now for the Vista side. And Jedka in particular is creeping up the back lines. Could get an easy knife in on Giacchino, or just an SMG kill would also do. And indeed, damage continues to be done by Vista by the utility bases, however. They get that one kill from Goofy. Golden falling, JW finding a trade. Golden following suit on Jedka, so two for ones hold themselves together. Or back, JW will fall to a three versus three. Sparrow look for something out here. Somewhere in the old hell position. Hades gets an orc pick back as Jaquino finds Sparrow somewhere. Two versus two. And Hades landing quick scopes now. Two frags to his name. Trying to make it three. But Jaquino turns up for one. Oh. And the second. One.
CT side with Fnatic picking the map itself, but they've driven all the CT presence away here in the pistol round. No one is left to defend the B bomb site, and Jetkill will be the first to fall. Trade's good, however, from the T side, as they get a two for one, a three for one in trade. Jeez, they just take the aggressive fight out towards the coffins angle straight into construction. Even check out the booster player. Hades funny a bit of a way back in now with a two versus two. This Thor's face again looking to try and do that damage block. So they're continuing to challenge Ponchek, taking out Brolin. All left on Crims now facing. Gets that one kill. Tap spam through holes on Ponchek for the moment. It's playing the defuse kit out of play for the CT side. So there's no time left for Ponchek. He's got to stay alive. As the pistol round goes the way of Fnatic, so quickly played, so quickly they drove the CTs away. And again, they get a fan. Resmoke nades coming through, and Fnatic are just going to push forward of them. M4's in, Jed Kurt, just down bottom next, secondary kill found, lining up two more, tried to transfer that spray towards Grim, as him and Jaquino are very, very low, so for Sparrow, this is going to be an easy swing, an easy double up to find that first round of the ball for Vista Krakow. Not oh, on that B site. Just playing the passive off angle positions, waiting for them to actually defend the site itself as Giacchino forces the issue on Sparrow, takes him out immediately. Now a fast rush coming in from the three players that remain there. Spray, very awkward from Jedka. Got gold in the single digits, but couldn't get the frag itself. So now the bomb can rotate a destination. And if you're a Vistler fan, if you're Vista yourselves, you're looking at this thinking, oh, it, it's time to be bangs for the uh, bridge position. Brawl and this solo walkout, nade down, Jedka swings, Spray gets that kill, so easy. And now Sparrow struggling to deal with him, the second player is going to come up to join him, he has no idea, taps through Brawl won't be able to get the frag just yet, Golden's going to reveal his position, flashbang in, Sparrow's blind as a bat, and dead as a dodo. Five versus three, Orb shot not connecting, Hades will drop to two, and Fnatic are just playing so, so confidently here. Uh, you know things are going right when two players win you around, it's like not even the team is needed. All it comes down to is just Brolin just being a madman, Golden helping out. JW would have been heard by the side player, looking to try to trust <laughs> forward. How does he even find that kill? Crim's getting the last one, no one falling from Fnatic. Smoke down to buy some cover here. They should know where he is though, Golden checking up position. Does end up dropping, that's one frag. Damage on the second man, not as successful. And that's gonna be a boy. He's been able to apply pressure in the late rounds once the bomb plant's already got off. Resmo comes through and just more players falling. This has just gotta hurt, right? Because they're trying to save. At least they can be safe in T Sport, so there's always that, but again, with the level that Fnatic are just doing all this damage on and, and the confidence. Control coming through. Ponchek making a lot of noise. We might just see a straight spam coming in. Ponchek actually catches off the boiler player, but not before the trade comes back. Shot in for Giacchino, thanks for it, but that doesn't mean that Giacchino is not also tagged up. Flashback keeping him blind, Golden. Okay, Giacchino does find the player. That looked very, very awkward for a moment, though. The confidence of going forward. As soon as I see plays like that, where a team is down by a huge margin of rounds, and they're not going for a re -like, retake like that, I already say this. Press them, stop them from making their way out past the banana control. Stalling for extra time, a third man's going to join the defensive. Flashes in, Sparrow caught. Jed Kavars, the second box, gets that one frag. Cream and Sparrow go back and forth. Hades and Sparrow with the AWP on the crossfire, get all the frags. And now there's no one left for Fnatic. Where's that second round that you were looking for there, Dweg? Not quite a 16-1 just yet, and they're getting the opening kill. Took a lot of damage down towards that B banana position, though. Jedka and Sparrow tanking. Nade Sparrow does come up with a secondary kill on the AWT, though. Hades getting JW. All right. And, well, Giacchino is not going to be able to do much from here. One versus five. Best bet is to maybe try and chuck that AWB away, make sure that maybe the CTs don't run triple orbs. But now mid, one down banana shot to Sparrow being seen. Brawlin does not quite get the kill. Goofy can find Crims, though, and the nades evade. Starting to swing past the AWP. Hades being seen, getting caught off by Brawlin. Jedkick can find a quick trade, however, as he overextends. No one going to check Graveyard, perhaps? Ponchek could be in a flank angle. Goofy see one player drop back outside of the apartment's run boost, and they have got a tag off against him. I think they know. Can't go for the wall bang. He's right there. Finally, he reveals position. Golden gets the frag. Three versus three. Goofy on side, top of the boxes. Awkward spray. Golden comes up with another good kill. Jed seen by JW. And the movement somewhere with the poles. Yeah, absolutely. But now that it's gone back to Fnatic, now that we've seen a round come set up so far in this matchup, so. So they can continue with it. Smokes up. Hades off shot. Connects towards Golden. Burning alive. Turns around for the second on Crims. Two quick frags. Fnatic trying to rush him down, but they failed spectacularly. And Sparrow's going to try to aggress out into the open alongside his teammate. Jedkar in the corner. JW reads it. Can't get a kill. Bullen comes up with one. Sparrow turns it around. Jaquina with the orc to respond. Bomb. 
a lot of pressure on him. Molotov out, shot missed, out, escaping through the flames, taking a lot of damage and running right into Hades, who makes it a triple to close out the round and get themselves a fourth for the Vista side. Really well played from him as well. Again, had that much pressure to him on the short control and still come out alive with three kills. Really good stuff from him. Uh, in the rounds, and up and over, smokes down as well, flashes over. Face from Bronn again, going solo aggressive. He's ready for Jedkov. Oh, oh, that adjustment is beautiful. But Sparrow drops one back to a four versus four. Refaces for his second kill. Jakino can train it. So now B site is on a T side control on your right. The orb back at Jakino gets Haley's neck. And now JW can strike against Ponchek. Seven points of health. Nade close. Not a bit far actually, but he should be able to win the fight. And either way, he's just drawing attention from the actual retake. Goofy is all alone. Yeah, as soon as Goofy falls, this round's pretty much finished because Podjack is just taking him so long to get back out to A. It is a two versus two. Flash comes in, decently done, but Crims turns away from it, peeks back in towards the angle, and now Podjack is in a one versus two. Time is incredibly low. HP is even lower. It does have a kit in play, but he's got to get these kills pretty much instantly. NWP holding down the cross. Jakino going to find his 12th kill of the round, or the entire half, and 11 on the board for Fnatic. I mean, it just, it looks so good. It really, uh, you know, like some confidence when they get wins on the board. So it can be a good, like, you know, mental, uh, you know, m mental boost for Fnatic if they're able to win the title outright here. Right now, Giacchino looking to win this round alongside Golden and Brawler, and they crossfire down here towards Banana. Headshots are plenty for the USPs. Sparrow in a one versus three. They do get a couple of trades back, but backups on the way. Sparrow's got the bomb on his back, such low HP, and the Golden ends up with a triple. Fnatic end up with a pistol round. A little bit of an angle if he would have swung slightly wider. Ooh, good shot. Jedka swings, hits, takes one. Brolin can trade back. Sparrow doing damage to Jedka as well. Seeing those teammates lining them up. Not quite getting the triple. Forced to reload. He's got plenty of CT presence, however. Back over towards the apartment's face. JW could be in a bit of a pickle if he gets faced in from the apps control. That nade is going to land perfect. It will just take down Goofy. So now two standing. Out space upon Sheck does catch off JW. So again, there will be a couple of trades here and there on the T side. They could actually secure the two versus two if Crims is not checked, but they just run right past him and it's all left upon Sheck. In a one versus two situation, making it one versus one, but tagged heavily against Brawl and only has the range game here with the rifle versus the SMG. It doesn't fake it out, sticks into that bomb plant, and so much noise is being made by Brolin. The Fomas trying to see if they get the taps over. Deagle Ooh. comes out upon Sheck, hits the headshot to win the clutch. A big. down back over to the long control. Sparrow is going to go falling. <gasps> Chance now for Giacchino to take two frags. He gets them both. Drops that bomb. Matt 10 wraps over. Just catch him off now. Golden with his own luck play. Has back up on the way. Are they going to check this corner? Or will they fall victim to another sneaky beaky angle? He's such low HP. Goofy is a check it. He goes down. The last man's been seen. Now Bronan can come in and support it. Molotov out. AK spree. And the Deagle works well. Fnatic stealing one away from Vistler. It's a huge half by win. Orps coming out. Giacchino ready. Gets Goofy oh, blind of the flashbang. Beautiful. Jedka also being heard. Golden knows that he's out there. Yeah, great HGs up towards that banana position and it certainly helps with at least the AWP finding that pick blind out from the mid position. Vizsla, they've taken top banana control hoping for a bit of a repeat back in. This should be an easy kill for Hades if Chikino peaks the angle. But if he holds face, he's fine. Oh, he no wins way. the fight! What? Damn! Golden and Brolin playing together. No rotations come back over. Molly's gone down. They might only think one player's playing out towards new box. Bombs with drop. Brolin gets two kills. Golden's not even needed. 3k to come through from Brolin. And that's just textbook. That just looks so great. Golden. Seeing smokes coming down, gonna count with Cindy. Good flashbang catches both CT players. Blind still. Brolin comes up with a kill. Jedka trades it. Molotov's back. Golden trying to hold on, but Hades. Deals the damage. Four versus three. Vistler with some decent entries. Catching that to reposition back here. Crims still gets Goofy to fall to low HP. Is he going to check the corner of Jedka? No, he won't. That's a one tap to return the favor to the Fnatic side. Fifteen to eight lead coming through. Hades with that uh, Krieg looking forward, but the AWP being boosted up. Ooh, doesn't actually find the shots. 
Hades gets the open. Another Ponchek is traded by JW. AWP looking back to Eagle in for Crims. Gets the secondary kill. Two for one. And maybe the full buy is not needed. Now they've got a Krieg in play. Position. What can he find? Crims is over here in time. Sprays through, Goofy catching nothing, Golden does get taken down, nades on towards the bomb plant position, does do a minimal amount of damage towards Goofy. Spending boost time up. real quick, that nade to return does not work out, the boost in play, they get the bomb plant at the drop, and the T-Side trying to back off there towards the banana position, playing off angle for the retake, flashes forward, they're both blind, Jedkiss dead, Sparrow last man standing, gets one, but no more than that, 16 to 8, Fnatic will finally take the second map and be able to take...